Romania has somehow gotten this stigma, if you wish, <laughs> uh, simply because Bram Stoker happened to see that article. Transylvania is connected automatically with vampires. Three, two, one, go. I wanted to use every part of every myth we've ever heard about or used. You know, Dracula has brides. He has to be brides. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that's really cool. You, turn around. Let me see your faces. In a number of folklores, there was, in some villages, a person who was sort of assigned to be the chief vampire hunter. Gentlemen, you will now be disarmed. You can try. To find one leading actress who's gorgeous and a great actress, that's a big enough coup. But then to find three more. It's uh, really, really good to be a monster in, in a monstrous movie. Oh. Hello, Anna. I think it's every actress' dream to play the vampire. The last of the Valerius. How often do you get to play like a super bad person? <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Elena and Sylvie and Josie are all you know, different and wonderful. Yeah. And together they make, you know, quite a visual statement. Oh! And what's nice is that she's not just wearing a pretty dress and fainting, you know, oh. she definitely gets her hands dirty. Oh! I love action movies with girls, and I think it's unusual to find a role in that kind of a movie where she actually has something to do. I'm just out to play and have fun, and I die pretty young because of that problem. <laughs> His name is Van Helsing. Your reputation precedes you. Next time, stay close. You're no good to me dead. This is a different sort of movie than I've done before, and I think that was another thing that was so appealing about it. Action! <laughs> It's much more broad than I'm used to, but there's plenty for an actress to play in it. I mean, she's lost her entire family, her brother's turned into a werewolf, and, you know. Action! The moment Kate's name came up, we just knew that she had that rare quality that you could believe she could play, period, that she could be funny and sexy, and also strong enough. I still you tried to kill him! He's a werewolf, he's gonna kill people! He can't help it, it's not his fault! I know, but he'll do it anyway! She's a great actress, and she's very beautiful, obviously, but... She's wickedly fun. Okay. <laughs> all her other siblings are brothers, and they're all older than her. So there's that great quality where she knows how to mix it with the boys. <laughs> she has to be a good match for Van Helsing, but at the same time, you want to have a romance between these two characters, so she can't be simply a hard, badass character. You know, there has to be a softer side to her. And we found the perfect actress to play this role in Kate Beckinsale. Everybody I love the brides so much. They're great characters. They're very bad girls. And I just love our actresses. Three brides always imagined it, that Verona was the wife and the other two are like the mistresses. <laughs> Sylvia just has this walk about her and the way she speaks English that just feels worldly. She felt so worldly, I thought she was a perfect Verona. <laughs> Elena, I think, sent a tape from Madrid. Bob popped it in. He said, you gotta see this girl. I walked in there and I thought, she's nuts. This girl's insane. So I flew to London and I met Elena. Of course, she's very sweet and quiet and just, and it was like, oh my God, it, it, it's really acting. Hello? And then there's the younger one who's like kind of coquettish and unsure, but sure is vicious when she needs to be. So bad. So sad. You know, Josie walked in the door. That was kind of it. <laughs> and they're a hoot together, the three of them. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. It's just like yours. <laughs> oh, well. OK. We really like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with my prize. 
Elena from Spain, Sylvia from Italy, and Josie from here. So, so find another prize. They bring their own totally, totally different energies to these roles. Please! Say you will not try again. My heart could not bear the sorrow if we fail again. When you're acting the vampire, you have to look gorgeous. You have to be wicked at the same time. It's not that easy, actually. Need I say more? The costumes are my favorite. <laughs> if I understand the word, Gabriella Piscucci made the best costumes. Yeah, this is the first time that I will do the movie with the special effects. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. not easy. No, no, no. Really easy. Uh, tell me that he uh, likes the, the light color, and then we decide one pink uh, violet, one uh, yellow, and a little bit of green. And the other is only gold and yellow. The costumes were just fantastic. We'll look at this. We'll look at this and see. <laughs> hot! <laughs> if I say it's hot, she'll never trust me again. I will. Yeah. You know, they're not necessarily entirely practical because I had to do a lot of running around and rather high spindly heels and corsets and swim in a massive ball gown and all that stuff. So I always think if a woman gets through an action movie, she's way tougher than the boys are. Anna is a irony, irony but sexy, strong women. She can to be uh, free from uh, the period. Go ahead, grab it. Oh, you go ahead and grab it. want to try and bring your actor or your actresses or whoever involved and put them in what feels like peril. Ready, Josie? You're gonna say action or jump? And action! That's what's fun. Okay, Josie? <laughs> I love my job. We have some pretty extensive flying rigs where we have Kate being flown away and Hugh running after diving, grabbing her feet, and they travel 30, 40 feet, about 25, 30 feet in the air. And then we trip them loose and they actually throw a full back layouts and land on the ground in these uncompromising positions, but it was all done with them, which is pretty amazing. And I hadn't done any stunts with Kate, and I said, Kate, how do you feel about it? She said, yeah, it looks all right. We did three takes. She stuck everyone perfectly. They're really gung-ho. They probably have a lot more ability than they want to admit. Right on up. Right on up. Bam. Kate actually is incredibly strong, and she'll tell you otherwise. You know, she'll maintain that she's a very sort of delicate English rose. I did Underworld, where I'd never done any action or stunt training or anything. I mean, I was very glad that I'd done a movie that involved quite a few stunts that I was asked to do myself. So we had worked on all of the specific stunts quite heavily and intensely, whereas with this, I kind of showed up. And it was very lucky that I was familiar with, you know, with the wires and all that stuff. You know, you're going to be doing a flip in the forest. Go. Three, two, one, go! Arch. Look at She runs great, she swings great, she fights. She's been upside down, she does flips, she does it all. I did run for seven months without stopping. Yeah, in heels. At that time we were shooting, it was about zero or ten degrees. Like Elena, they're impossible. Like Elena, perfect. Because she has no blood, so she's not, never cold. I love my balls! Steven wanted her to just take off like she was jumping, but not really flying, but just like a pixie. Fly up and be all animated. She just nailed it every single time. Very happy to be there. She's got great body control, and I think the attitude is what shows. Mariska, kill the 
danger. Love to. It was almost a year of designing for the brides. What was difficult was getting something that's a balance between a monster and something kind of beautiful. So it's like wicked but beautiful and nasty but beautiful. And then just getting the look, are they naked, are they not naked? That was a lot of iterations. Do you like to fly? And he came up with this idea of what they call a hybrid uh, bride. What the hybrid bride is, it's effectively combining the best of makeup effects and the best of computer graphics to come up with a hybrid that looks and acts as a total real character. A little bit. No, right. You're right. Squid is out. No. We've shot them against a blue screen in blue suits so that we can extract all the blue later and just have their heads. Their heads are in the prosthetic makeup that then we will later take those heads and apply them to computer graphics bride bodies so that in shots where they fly right at camera, we're seeing our girls in these situations that we could never practically do. Those girls, they are such troopers. I'm sure they will change their contracts from now on. I told them, look, from now on, if you see that you have to be on a blue screen stage, you double your feet. No! They put all this plastic, all this latex in your face. And they cast my whole body from head to toe. They measured everything. So we have a molding of my body. That was six months ago, so I was 24. So I have, I'm stuck at 24 for the rest of my life somewhere. <laughs> Makeup is like one hour, and the special effects is like one hour and a half, so it's not too much. We have to wear prosthetics on our face in order to cover our eyebrows, because when we transform into horrible creature, we have no eyebrows, and it looks weird. <laughs> we enjoy ourselves doing the vampire things and flying and uh, being so jealous and with the nails and the fangs and these long wigs and it's great. <laughs> this is really cool to have character makeup, you know, instead of just pretty makeup. It's like you're, you're a vampire. It's really cool. Action! It took a long time to put all of us together, but eventually, he made the perfect cast. If I'd thought it was going to be tricky, I would have probably panicked. It was when the day was over, I was like, oh, God, glad that went okay. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> Find Birkin's gun! It has to be the silver bullets! Ah, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>